Slugs, the slimy, strange gastropods that lurk within your garden, feed on your flowers, and leave a trail of slime wherever they go. But what is slug slime exactly? Why is it needed? How does it work? It turns out, slug slime is an amazing substance that's much more complex than meets the eye, and it even has the potential to transform medicine. Slugs are covered in goblet cells, which accrete a type of protein known as mucin in the form of dry granules. When exposed to water in the environment, these mucins can expand to over 100 times their initial volume, forming mucus. Although this mucus is approximately 97% water, it is not a liquid. It exists between the liquid and solid states as a liquid crystal, retaining non-Newtonian properties. Slugs first use slime for locomotion. It acts as a smooth, protective barrier to the sharp and rough forest floor and can even be used like a rope to rappel down from high branches. Slime also serves as the slug's communication device. It leaves behind a trail of pheromones, chemicals that can convey the location of food, the direction they're headed, and their readiness to mate. Furthermore, slime is used for protection. When in danger, slugs secrete large amounts of slime, which is strong enough to keep them glued to a leaf, even when a predator tries to pry them off. What gives slug slime these properties? The answer lies in its structure. Zooming in closer reveals that slime is a tangle of proteoglycans, proteins, and ions. Proteoglycans are proteins with long polysaccharide chains attached to them, and are commonly found in cartilage. In slime, they tangle to form a soft, deformable network with a net negative charge. The proteins form a stiff, highly cross-linked network with a net positive charge. Electrostatic attractions between the positively charged proteins and the negatively charged proteoglycans, in addition to the double network containing both highly linked and deformable substances, give the slime its strength. To stick slugs to different surfaces, the net positive charge of the slime binds with the slightly negatively charged surfaces in the environment. The slime also sticks by intertwining its protein strands with the materials around it. After investigating the amazing properties of slug slime, scientists began to think of its medical applications. One problem is finding an effective way to close incisions after surgery. Staples and sutures can either damage tissues or are too time-consuming, and current glues are toxic, inflexible, and can't stick effectively to wet surfaces. Inspired by slug slime, scientists have found a way to create a hydrogel patch that isn't only flexible, but can also stick to wet or bloody surfaces. The hydrogel mimics the properties and charges of slug slime with polyacrylamide, calcium ions, negatively charged alginate, and positively charged bridging polymers. Electrostatic interactions pull the hydrogel into the tissue surface, where it can then physically entangle with the permeable surface and form covalent bonds. Using this new technology, scientists have been able to stop bleeding in a liver and even close holes in a beating heart. So the next time you see a slug, put away the salt. Slug slime is a remarkable material and could one day hold you together.